This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 14 G4, and I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard assembly and the battery on the HP Chromebook 14 G4. So this is intended for schools and school districts, and I know that's a frequent problem, the keyboard and the battery replacement after the Chromebook turns one or two years old. So uh, let's start with the tools. We're going to use, uh, we have a PH1 electronic screwdriver to remove the screws, a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver for smaller screws, um, a hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to mainly pop the keyboard assembly open a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws manipulate cables and also a spudger tool to pry things open so uh, what we first want to do is close the Chromebook and flip it over. Uh, now the one you will have might have a different color on the lid but the keyboard will be that same gray color. So we need to remove all the screws from the bottom and I've already done that. There's four at the at the palm at the palm rest area, two in the middle and another two in the middle and then there is five on the back of the laptop. So these are kind of tricky because they're hiding behind some rubber feet and I left this rubber foot open to show you what it looks like. So once, once you lift up the rubber foot, you will see a screw hole right here. And I will lift up this rubber foot also to show you how to do it. So you use the hobby knife and you wanna lift it up and then you see the screw hole right there and we put the rubber foot on the side. Next we have um, a rubber cover here and then there's a screw hole hiding here and these are um, not interchangeable the left and the right are not interchangeable so you need to keep track that the left one goes on the left and the right one goes on the right so that's what we're gonna do and the right one goes on the right and finally a screw cover right in the middle so we lift that up and then there's a screw hole so once again I already removed these screws with this PH1 screwdriver. So let's count them. There's four, then there's six, eight, and then there's 13 total screws on the bottom that you have to remove. So it's, it goes by pretty fast. Next, we open up the laptop again. And um, this particular model has a textured uh, keyboard assembly. I believe the ones that are in, this is the consumer version. It's exactly like the um, school version, but the school version is going to have just a plain finish and the keyboards we supply will have a plain finish to match the school version. So what we want to do is we need to pry the screen or keyboard assembly off the bottom of the laptop. What we want to do is use our hobby knife and reach in in the seam between the keyboard assembly and the bottom assembly and just go around the keyboard assembly and just start popping it up. Uh, if you if one spot feels tight, you go to the next spot and then you hear popping, clicking sounds and that means the keyboard is coming up. And uh, once you start doing it, it gets easier and easier. And then we keep going around the whole thing. This is the most time consuming part. But in this model, it's not that bad. This Chromebook's a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit more awkward to film this part. So let's see if we can get some traction here. And we got, and just what we did was 
once we lift up the bottom we can go like this. There's a couple cables that we need to lift up on the bottom so once we pop the keyboard assembly open. So there's one here and let's get a good angle and there's a plastic bar let's see let's do a good angle here there's a plastic bar and we use our hobby knife to lift up this plastic bar and then this cable comes out and then there's a second plastic bar there's a good angle and we take that out so the keyboard is freed now and this is what the keyboard looks like on top and on the bottom so like I said there's four generations of this now this is the fourth generation and in each case the keyboard assembly is different and the way to tell is just to look at the bottom look where this copper foil is where this uh, metal piece is and how the cable is shaped so the cable is shaped different for each version and how the mouse pad is laid out so that's the best way to tell so once you get your new keyboard in just uh, reverse the procedure and put it in and while we have the laptop open I will show you how to change the battery. This part is not that hard. And so first thing is we want to disconnect the battery cable. Just use your fingernails to pull the connector back. And disengage the connector. And then there's just two screws that we have to, or actually four screws that we have to remove. So we have one and two three and four so the battery is released and then we can just lift up the battery and there's some adhesive tape and then we can remove the battery the part number for this battery is BU03XL. So that's the part number you need to change that. We have both of these parts in stock at Screen Surgeons, and uh, primarily we have school customers for these parts. So uh, please uh, send us an inquiry. Uh, either go to uh, www.screensurgeons.com and click on the school link at the top and just let us know the parts we need and we do provide volume discounts on these and parts on availability and any other parts that you might need for this model. Uh, if you just want to buy one or two with a credit card just go to our front page at www.screensurgeons.com just type in um, HP Chromebook 14 G4 keyboard or H Chrome, HP Chromebook 14 G4 battery and the search results will come up with that part. All right, and uh, we do take purchase orders, and like I said, we work with school districts quite a bit on these parts. And also, um, if you're working with a school district and need a toolkit, uh, just contact us on the school page or on the contact page and ask for a free toolkit, and we'll send you this exact same toolkit, and there's no charge as a promotion for us. Okay, so once you do have the parts, make sure they look exactly the same, the cable is in the right place, the shape of the battery is the same, then put it back in, reverse the procedure, and your laptop should be good as new. Just one extra note on the keyboard. It is very difficult to replace individual keys on this. I know we've tried, but it's just, they just don't go in properly after you take them out. Just that. So the, if the keys are missing, the whole assembly pretty much has to be replaced. Just That's just the way it is. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.